As we have reported from your media team at ISSA, winter is here and with it are various illnesses such as the flu, RSV, COVID-19, and more. It's real, but as with all things related to data, there are asterisks and important caveats to every metric. To help us navigate those asterisks and caveats, we welcome Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner, Senior Director of GBAC, a division of ISSA. Gavin, good to have you today. Hi, Jeff. How are you today? I'm doing good. You ready to talk about this? This is an important one. This is a big one for us, Jeff. Uh, let's talk about the data we're seeing. We see a lot of numbers, a lot of reports. Tell us about that to start. Well, I think the big thing is, Jeff, the winter sickness surge is real. And we at ISSA say we really want 2024 to be the year where everyone focuses on clean for health. We do that because we're able to measure the level of cleanliness. So ISSA say wants to help all cleaning organizations and facility managers understand how they could maybe set up an, eye, an indoor air quality monitor. When do they test a surface with an ATP meter? And if you stay and listen to the end of this video, we have an offer free, that's free, F-R-E-E, -E, on how you can get your hands on an indoor air quality monitor, but more importantly, how the ISSA subject matter experts can help you with an indoor air quality management plan. I'm glad you spelled free correctly, Gavin. I won't have to edit that out. So I can't wait to hear about that. That's coming up. So stay with us, folks. But Gavin, speaking of the data, we hear reports that wastewater is giving up information. They test wastewater. They gather information from that. What does that data tell us? Yeah, this is important, Jeff. So from an infection prevention and control, so to decrease the risk of transmission for the clean industry, indoor air quality, air, and surfaces are really important for inf in infection prevention. But there are there are sites out there in the US where wastewater testing sites capture the people who are sick. Now, these are people that may not have symptoms or mild cases. They don't may not go and see a doctor or go to the hospital, so they get counted. And we know from these wastewater surveillance sites that they provide data. They can show what what how many you know, what the data looks like this week compared to last week. And therefore, we can use that data and understand maybe there's more people sick this week than last week, which means there's more virus and bacteria circulating. And it means from a cleaning industry perspective, we need to go out there and clean the buildings based on science and evidence to break the cycle of transmission so that we can tell everyone that what we've done, the work that we've done, has made the buildings safer, safer and healthier. So wastewater data can provide a useful planning response signal for the clean industry. Okay, that's good information. Another important factor to consider is the data from hospitals. Talk about yeah, this, that. This is another really important point, Jeff, because hospital data, we see it in the newspapers, we see it in social media, the media. And many other people focus on how hospitals are coping with the number of patients last week, this week. Maybe even their hospital staff are sick. Now, we use hospital data to measure the severity of, say, the flu, COVID-19, or any other disease. Now, we know, for example, that the last week of 2023, nearly 35,000 Americans were admitted to hospital with COVID-19, and about 1,500 died. And we know where those hospitals are located. So we know where the virus is circulating, just like we do for other viral diseases as well. So again, hospital data provides can also provide a useful planning and response signal for the clean industry, but it's more reactive. And I want the clean industry to focus on how to prevent infections. We know that indoor air quality is so important today. It's, it's front and center monitoring and reporting on that so we can adjust is important. Can you talk about how ISSA can help with indoor air quality plans? And do we have anything to offer those watching right now? Oh, this is where it gets really exciting, Jeff. In 2024, we've already mentioned that this is going to be a year for the clean industry. We're going to focus on data, evidence. We can make this real. Now, we know that the cleaning industry has access to tools, um, you know, to, to actually have data, you know, something like this air quality monitor that I've got here right in my hand right now. We know that the indoor, you know, the 
the work that we do as the clean industry on indoor air quality, on surfaces, we can look beyond doctors and hospitals. We can measure the level of cleanliness of air and surfaces. So what we what we want to do at ISSA through our GBAC STAR Registered Program and Technology Program, we're going to offer a 30-day free trial. We're in partnership with a company called ThinkLight. We're going to offer a 30-day free trial of the ThinkLight Flare Indoor Air Quality Monitor, which is this one here, Jeff. And it also comes with a, uh, a dashboard, which helps you show the data, the information it's measuring. So it measures airborne con contaminants such as viruses, allergens, bacteria, um, the size of particles as well as the number of particles in the air. It also includes volatile organic compounds, the VOCs that we're so concerned about, as well as it measures ozone. So ISSA and Think Light in, collabor in collaboration are going to provide for 30 day free trial, the indoor air quality monitor, as well as a 30 minute free con consultation on how to use the data, the dashboard for decision making and help everyone start developing an indoor air quality plan for the buildings they clean. And to do that, to be part of this, and I think I'm so excited about this, Jeff, because I think we're really going to see some real data coming from many parts of the country. The first 20 organizations that send me a personal email in the subject line, put IAQ monitor, and then in the body of the email, request assistance for this offer, send it to me at gavinms at issa.com. That's G-A-V-I-N-M-S at issa.com. I'll reply, we'll get it all set up. And then hopefully after 30 days, Jeff, we'll do another video and we'll be able to talk about the results we found. Absolutely. So I'm going to send you that email, Gavin, and I wait, I probably don't qualify, but I'll... Well, you you might, Jeff. I'm telling you right now that I can tell you I'm looking at the data right now and my air quality is pretty, pretty good here right today. Well, good for you, Gavin. And hopefully those watching will take advantage of this and their air quality, they can monitor it. They can see what it's doing. They can make improvements. But what a great offering ISSA has. Thank you for sharing those details. All the information that you just mentioned is down below as well for easy reference. Thanks, Jeff.